Hey guys, it's Shannon here with iHeart. I don't have to introduce you guys. It's Mary Nest Ranch. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Good. Super good. Are you guys uh, excited to be in Toronto doing all the things? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We're just uh, here for a couple of days of press, but we're having a really good time. Ah. Maybe too good of a time last night, actually. Uh, <laughs> what did you guys do last night? Nothing. Oh, Nothing that, you have to talk about it now. No, you know, it's just lots of friends here that yeah. we don't get to see very often. So uh, I believe your words were I made one tiny mistake. <laughs> I had a bunch to drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to take advantage of that while you're out of town, right? I made it's so one, fun, yeah. I made yeah. ten tiny mistakes. But I'm going to categorize them as one. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm sitting as far away from you as possible. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. I see how it is. Well, you're actually a new father, aren't you? I am. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank oh, you. that's awesome. So, yeah, you got to, like, while your dad's out of town, you yeah, can no have kidding. a Yeah, no kidding. First trip out of town, like, ah, I got to let loose. <laughs> but, uh, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Well, thank you so much for getting up early. And, uh, cool. It's our pleasure. Yeah, so let's talk about the album. How excited are you guys for it to come out? We're very excited. Uh, we've been we've been working on it for this whole past year, and it's uh, I, I sort of right now I'm feeling like, like that nervous uh, night before Christmas anticipation yeah. kind of feeling. Is it more nerves or is it more excitement? Because this is what your yes, fifth both. album. Yes, both. Yeah, equally both. Yeah. yeah. Is there is there kind of is it. Is there kind of a bar that's set when you have this many albums and you kind of want to outdo your past albums, or is it kind of just level playing field? I think um, I've tried really hard to set a new bar on every record. You know, yeah. you want if it's not your v absolute best, then why would you put it out at, at all? Or at right. least that's how I feel about things. And uh, so I think uh, both from a songwriting perspective and from a performance perspective, I think we sort of set the bar as high as we possibly can with each album, and then uh, we get better because then we tour for two years, and then we come back and do another one, you know? Yeah, totally. So it seems like you guys, with every single album, it, it, it has the same Mariana's Trenchness to it uh, <laughs> that you guys always seem to deliver, but each album kind of seems a little bit different. What do you think is different about this album in particular? I think um, I think for us, like reinventing is really important, and if you're gonna, if you. I think most artists that have uh, are fortunate enough to have a long career, if you look at them, usually reinvented a lot, like right. David Bowie or something. Like I'm not comparing us to David Bowie, but like you, you can know, compare yourself. Look no, at you no, guys. No. <laughs> but I, uh, I just mean like an artist like yeah, that yeah. with a long career. There's a lot of different versions of Bowie, right? right. Um, so I, I think like musically, it's also just more interesting to to do that. Like if you go back to the same well a whole bunch, a whole bunch of times, it's not really all that inspiring. Like I kind of feel like once we've written uh, a certain style of song, then we can sort of move on. Mm -hmm. um, so this this album, I wanted to do something that felt really modern because our last one was really throwback feeling. So I thought to do the exact opposite it would be uh, would be fun. So it's like super modern, um, but it's all organic so there's not it sounds like it's got a lot of programming going on but it doesn't it's all actually just us playing <laughs> yeah oh that's awesome so you guys um a lot of your fans have stuck with you guys though since you guys have started which is amazing yeah you guys have a really strong fan base it seems like anytime you go to any of your shows or just on social media or in general so what does it mean to you to have these fans that are coming back to every single show we feel so grateful. Um, it, we're so lucky to have that. I think. Um, I think because we were never just. Uh, I think fans were such a huge part of our uh, success because they've been so involved, sort of since day one. Mm -hmm. I sort of feel like it's. Uh, it's maybe feels like a, a shared success. I yeah, think. yeah. They definitely were part of the, especially the first album. Yeah. We we came from just getting a little bit of much music video play, not even on the countdown at the beginning. Um, and they were taking these videos and sharing them with their friends and like requesting us to radio stations and and made made it happen. If it weren't for that that first push from the fans, we would uh, definitely not have accomplished it. One one thing I much. really appreciate uh, lately is is the patience of our fans because in a in a day and age where music is consumed so quickly and there's it, you know uh, people are able to just put content out after content 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 like we can't do that because we don't have writers waiting for us at home writing hits while we're on tour like right. we tour and then we get back and then josh gets in there and works his ass off and and it takes a long time to do the kind of work that we do so the fans have been really patient for us waiting around while you know while we disappear for a little bit and yeah we appreciate that that's that's some loyal stuff right there totally. yeah it's awesome yeah and i kind of want to touch on that with you producing and writing and and all of you guys but um obviously you wrote the song pop 101 and you've kind of explained like what it is about pop music that is so popular but what do you personally think um it is about uh, pop music that that makes a hit oh man i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Loaded I, think, I think um th i think there's the answer that i wish and then i think there's the answer that's 
honest. What's like, the what I way? wish is that a great song will always see the light of day. That's right. what I re- wish that it was. But honestly, I think it comes down to the biggest factor is luck. Um, and I think some artists too can sometimes get to a point where they can put out songs that aren't as good, but they have enough momentum going for them that 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 can uh, sustain itself. Yeah. But I don't know. I think at the end of the day, uh, if it gets if it gets stuck in your head, yeah. Why do you say luck? Um, because you can't you can't foresee that a song's going to be huge. Like, right. and sometimes sometimes you can work so hard on a song that you think that you feel is great, and it just for whatever reason doesn't connect yeah. with people. Or sometimes, like, do you really think that uh, who let the dogs out? Do you think they were like, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this <laughs> one's going to be huge? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, like. Did that, you feel that way with Call Me Maybe though? No, no, no. Like Carly and I were just trying to write. Uh, we were just trying to get her on Canadian Top 40. That was right. all we were after. Yeah. Um, I felt that we would be able to do that. Mm-hmm. But past that, no. I could have never predicted all of the lives that that song had. There's yeah. no way. Cool. That's it's kind of cool when you see that kind of just get to where you want it and then take off from there, right? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So where does the name Phantom come from? Um, well, I wanted to do, like, we always do these themed albums. Mm-hmm. So Masterpiece Theater, we did, um, like, sort of music theater, like Broadway style. And then uh, Ever After was based around doing, like, fantasy storytelling. And then uh, Astoria was based around 80s coming-of-age adventure mm-hmm. movies. And Phantoms, we want I wanted to put it to set an album inside of, like, a, a haunted house, like, haunted by the ghost of a former love, sort of as a relationship metaphor. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's awesome. Okay, so I've lurked all of you online. Oh, no. Um, I have... Oh, no. <laughs> this, I love these. I've pulled some of your Instagram photos, and I kind of just want the story behind them. Okay. okay? okay. Maybe. You look, you look nervous. <laughs> yeah. All right, Josh, we'll start with you then. Oh, great. Um, what is happening here? That is a tiny raccoon. Wait, how did you get this? Okay, so uh, a friend of mine, uh, this friend of mine, Whitney, rescued these baby raccoons who had been uh, abandoned by their mom, and mm. the, that little guy was like the size of a tiny little kitten, uh, and they were being uh, nursed, nursed back to health because they would have died otherwise. Great Aww. hair in that photo. Yeah, right? <laughs> looking good. I like it. That is my dream to like hold a raccoon. It was pretty sweet. Okay. Um. Wait. What do we got here? Oh. Okay. We got to talk about this. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, <yeah. laughs> so who did wear it best? Uh, well, Ellen Page. Yeah, definitely Ellen Page. <laughs> yeah. But those pants, I don't know. Yeah, yeah Matt, where did you get the matching pants? Yeah. That's, uh, that's my secret. <laughs> <laughs> the and the rose the in there. I don't the know. I, I'm going to vote Matt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's. A, I mean, that's you valid. do get the full stance with him too, which is a sell. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. selling that big time. It was Valentine's Day, so. Oh, road. you don't need to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just had those shirts, or is that the same shirt? It's the same shirt. I'm sure it's the same. It's the exact it's same, the same shirt. All same shirt. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Okay, we'll do Josh. Again. Also, you know what's funny oh, about that? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll I'll, think, I'll get back to that. The other thing I wanted to point out with the one with Ellen Page what? is that's a guy's shirt and. I, her and I would both be wearing a men's small, which yeah. shows you how different sized humans we both are. Oh yeah, because she's a tiny. She must be tiny. I don't know she, her, I've but she must be tiny. I've heard that she's like five one. So, and yeah, you're what six? Two. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. This okay, one. so that's just what I call my lazy Tuesdays. <laughs> um, I mean, what I gotta that's wear grocery something. shopping, right? Yeah, there. That, yeah that's that's uh, casual. Laundry day, okay? <laughs> laundry could, day. Can they cast a spell? Hard to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. Okay, and then there's one more. Okay, I couldn't find any oh, yeah. terrible photos of you or any funny photos. You just have an I adorable family. I don't take terrible fam- photos. I know. <laughs> just an adorable family. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you know what's funny? We wore those uh, Christmas, and then I, w- I moved and put them somewhere, and every single time, my son's like, can we all wear the matching pajamas today? And finally found them, and man, he was happy. He's like, guess uh-huh. what I found? <laughs> so last, uh, so last day before I came here, I was actually wearing that. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. And your son is so adorable. Um, is he going to follow in your footsteps in music? I don't know. I, I hope not for his sake. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I will I will encourage him with whatever he chooses. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's an awesome answer. And I think we'll end right there. Thank you guys so much for coming in. It's a Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Thank you for having and us. Nice to meet you. Yeah, come back anytime. Thank you. Yeah.